Happy Wednesday. Welcome to the very best day of the week. Got a good proverb to share with you today. Quick reminder of what we do with these brief words of wisdom. We hear from God's wisdom, knowing that it is sharply contrasted with the wisdom of the world. Part of what God's wisdom does, it shows us how he has shaped the world to work, shaped his people to best walk in this world. So we take these words, we look back, and that helps us have some guidance for the future, knowing that God calls us to grow. And in growing, we have opportunity to walk in more godly maturity going forward, both as a way to respond to God's goodness and also as a way to be a witness in the world. Our proverb for today is going to encourage us to have the skill of listening to other people. One of the challenges to listening to other people, well, for some people it might be attention, but for others it might be the desire to speak instead of hear. Proverbs is going to warn us away from that last part toward listening. Let's hear. If one gives an answer, before he hears, it is his folly and shame. If one gives an answer before he hears, it is his folly and shame. I was trying to tell my family about this proverb as I was getting ready to record. Tell them I wrote about it, talking about how the Bible teaches us that speaking before we hear all of what the other person wanted to say is foolish, and they found a lot of fun in intentionally trying to interrupt me for about the next 15 minutes. So yeah, life in my house, super fun. Anyhow, learning from God's word, here's how we walk forward. If one gives an answer before he hears or she hears, it is his folly and shame. If you've been paying attention on Wednesdays, you know that how we use our mouths, how we tame our tongues is something that the book of Proverbs has spoken often of. Reminds us that there is wisdom in quietude. There's wisdom in keeping the inside thoughts to stay inside and not become outside words. One of the things I noted about this proverb is that, hey, not only is interrupting another person rude, so it's disrespectful to them, also, as we hear here, when we jump to conclusions or jump into a conversation, sometimes it brings us shame. It's a folly. And honestly, it's a pretty easily avoidable one if we learn this kind of sacred habit of listening before we speak. As you know, one of the things I like to do is to see how these proverbs have been passed down culturally, things that you hear that aren't Bible verses, but are reflecting the teaching of Bible verses. And here's one that I've heard a bunch of times. Maybe you've heard it too. I've heard people say that God gave us two eyes and two ears, but only one mouth for a reason. And that reason is so that we would listen and we would look at least twice as often as we speak. And also, as I like to do, because it's a good habit, good for us, good for me, and hopefully good for you, I like to see how these words would offer us a corrective as to how we tend to function in our culture. And by the way, when we talk about culture, we shouldn't only think people outside our windows. Almost always the culture has an impact on us, even we who are trying to walk a different way. You and I live in a culture of shouting where the loudest voice is too often the clearest. We also live in a culture that desires immediate reaction instead of waiting to listen to things all the way out. Imagine if that's what we heard in the media. Well, this thing happened today, but we're going to read all 300 pages of it before we offer you our hot take. Or, you know, sometimes things need context, so we're going to let this simmer before we respond. 
ain't gonna happen anytime soon doesn't sell but it is wise to be patient to wait to listen all the way through and with information prayerfully speak afterwards it also occurred to me this might be true of tons of proverbs not just this one it occurred to me though looking at these proverbs every wednesday that there are often moments where foolishness comes from our lack of understanding of what makes us valuable. You know, maybe in a conversation or a debate, you think what makes you valuable is the point you're about to make, the argument you're about to win. Not to most people, by the way, but you might think that. And part of what that is, is a simple lack of understanding that what makes us valuable is that God has paid a price for us. What makes us valuable isn't our smarts. It's not our skills. That might help other people sometimes if held in check, used in wisdom. What makes us valuable is that we have a new standing before God, people who are set free, and people who are forgiven. Because of that, we can walk into the world knowing that things like humility, things like kindness and compassion, we can be free from having to shout, free from having to win, and instead try to embrace those godly virtues as we walk forward in godly wisdom. As always, let's close with our wisdom prayer. Lord, help me to be wise, not according to the world's standards, but according to yours. Help me to choose daily the way of wisdom in the way of Jesus. Amen. As always, thanks for clicking and see you next time.